All right, welcome back to Death Toll Racing, episode three of Twin Turbo Crown Vic. Um, okay, so this episode starts with a little bit of rework. Uh, we're gonna be reworking this, like we said last time, uh, since we were told that wastegate wouldn't work like that. So we're gonna run the two wastegates, hopefully out in this area, maybe in this area, we don't know yet. Um, you'll, you'll find out uh, when you watch me try to do it. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this H pipe in with that and just cap it, um, but that's not 100% certain I'll be able to do that. Um, so you'll, you'll find out as soon as that happens. So here, right here, um, this tube where I Y my two turbos together, um, I ended up remaking that last night. I came down here just to kind of see where I was at uh, and, and try to come up with a game plan for today. And um, I didn't like how, how this one was sitting, it was low it was hanging down and I didn't really realize it. I was looking at the side, I was trying to keep everything above the frame and this was hanging down a little bit. So I ended up remaking it and then I also made it out of a bigger tube. Um, and then I cut this, this elbow off so that I could kind of reshape that one as well. It was, it was the way it was all set up, it was, it was not ideal. So um, we're gonna start over with that one, but that's, uh, it was literally just tacked on there anyway, uh, not a big deal. So my turbo flanges, I believe just showed up. I heard the, I heard the alarm go off. Um, so I'm gonna go check that out, but we should be able to, fingers crossed, get the intake, uh, high pressure intake, and the exhaust done on this episode, um, at least at least fit up, um, maybe not done done, but it'll be fit up uh, so that we can move on to our oil system and all that stuff from Wednesday to Friday. So anyway, we'll see you again at the end. Hopefully this goes good, fingers crossed.
Story time. Um, okay, so these uh, that come with these eBay kits or Amazon kits, um, stupidest thing in the world. You have no, well, this one, this one on this side won't even work unless I want the exhaust underneath the back seat. Um, and then this side, I could, it would bolt on, but it would be pointing forwards and dragging on the ground. Um, I don't really know why they weld that on there. Uh, it's about a one in a million chance it would actually work in your scenario. So we're gonna cut them off. But ironically though, this bend is absolutely perfect to where I want it. Um, it's going to go, and I'm gonna point right at where the rear tire hits the ground. So it's gonna go right in the front and it works on both sides. Uh, it's gonna go right in front of the rear tire or it's gonna point right at the front of the rear tire. Uh, right where it hits the ground. So these are going to work out really slick, but we just got to cut them off and weld them. They're stainless. Um, stainless is easy to weld. It's a different setup. If you absolutely had to, you could just use normal wire on it. It would work, um, especially in this scenario. But uh, we'll, we'll set up for stainless when that time comes. But uh, just so that we can be, you know, kind of done with this part of figuring out, that's exactly what they're going to do. We're just going to cut them off of there and re-weld them back on. something that would work kind of um, okay so I am gonna order a couple different parts so we need our mass still um, I'm gonna put the mass right here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order a 45 uh, degree boot for here so that this is coming out basically more straight in line with this then we can rotate this one up and then it'll be a straight section here um, that it will house also house our mass airflow sensor. So that's going to work out pretty slick going through there. Um, I'm pretty sure that's going to work uh, really well. Um, just uh, just imagining it going through there. I, I think we can get that to work really well. It might be close to this brake line, so we might have to watch that. But otherwise, um, this I, I think that's all going to work. So I'm pretty excited uh, that that worked out. We're going to unloom this this uh, connector here goes to the mass. We're going to just unloom it to about here. Uh, and then we'll have enough wiring to make it to our connector there um, when we put our mass airflow sensor in there. I sure hope he wants a mass airflow sensor, but it's not going to hurt anything in there if he doesn't want it. Um, I believe he can tune it without it, but um, I'd rather have one. I think it would, it would, it'll be a little better. Um, so I know what I need to order, a, a mass airflow sensor, 3-inch straight piece, and a 45 boot three inch so i'm going to order those um and I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of research on a colder plug uh, i just got to figure out what the two st i'm going to go down two heat heat cycles uh and in spark plugs so we'll get those um and we have our injectors they came today so we're going to uh get those in there but i need my plugs so we can do them at the same time uh that'll that'll make it uh, go pretty good our coils are new i would replace these if they weren't but these are already a new coil so i replaced those when i got the car they're, they're two years old or so um and they have about twenty thousand miles on um okay so that should do it uh these are actually msd now that i think about it i'm pretty sure these are msd coils um anyway that should do it so we will see you on friday let's see on yeah friday um and hopefully we'll get our injectors in and, and we'll start on our fuel system and oil system so i don't know where we're going to be but uh that's what we're going to be working on uh so anyway thanks for watching we'll see you on friday with episode what is that four already wow episode four